Has there been talk about Hawaii seceding from the United States? Well, that's there always, are, that's always are, been talked yeah. about. Always there. I mean, there's there's always been a sovereignty movement in Hawaii, who point to the overthrow of the queen that they don't have a treaty yeah. or whatever in these things. But and and their uh, their yeah. their effort to return Hawaii back to a sovereign it's kingdom. It's kind of crazy that it's America and it's five hours over the ocean in pl- in a plane. Right. <laughs> it is strange. Yeah. 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 That's so crazy. That's so crazy. Yeah. It is. Uh, I mean, wondering, I mean, because I hear it all the time. There is no treaty. There is no treaty signed and this and that, you know. I mean, it's stuff we hear all our whole lives growing up as a kid. But, uh, you know, I, right now, I think I just, my heart directed at, we got to do something now. I mean, the property assessment tax that's if the guy next to you buys a house for $20 million, now you pay the same tax yeah. level as this guy. Yeah. And if you were just a generational family with all your kids, just uh, look just like me and her and we're uh, in the house hanging out, how are we going to pay the taxes There's for no a 20? Th- so the property th- taxes has are to based, stop now. based on the property value. Yeah. Right? So if the property value goes up, your taxes go up and it essentially yeah. pushes people out. And nobody can, nobody can withstand this. No. And it's, it's, when we it's saw this scary. a lot during COVID too, is is a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of very wealthy people from the mainland were seizing on the opportunity. Like, hey, if I got to be at home and stuck at home and work from home, I'm going to go do it in Hawaii. And they were throwing down, uh, you know, if a house, a, a single family home, not built recently, not fancy, is on the market for nine hundred grand. They would throw down like one point five million dollars cash to scoop that house up off the market, and this was happening over and over and over again. How does any local family compete with people from the mainland coming in and throwing down millions of dollars cash? And that imme- they can't. And, and that then it drives all of the prices up. up. I, yeah. I do admit, though, with all of these problems going on in in America, and uh, you know, with President Biden and everything going on, I see a lot of people who aren't Native Hawaiian trying to go over to that to that um, Native Hawaiian movement because. They're scared, and they're you know they're they're scared themselves about what everything that's going on and what are you know so everybody are kind of keeping them open mind to different things. I mean, I'm sure when all the coronavirus coronavirus stuff was happening, so was Texas, so was Florida. You know, but everybody had a more open mind, as kind of a more independent uh, attitude as moving forward. Well, and it's interesting to see that. It is interesting. What's interesting is if there wasn't a uh, Florida and if there wasn't a Texas, there wasn't places that were open. Mm-hmm. You know, when I came here, I came here in May of 2020. And that's when I was already, I was already like, fuck this. Mm-hmm. I, I was already like, it was only a couple months in. I was like, what happened in two weeks? Right. Like everything shut down. Everything's staying shut down. All my friends that were in the restaurant industry were struggling hardcore they lost somewhere in the neighborhood of 70 percent of the restaurants in los angeles and, and how many small coming, businesses now they're coming for the rest and you know? so when that happened i started looking out here in may and uh i went to a restaurant with my kids and they were like we don't have to wear a mask <laughs> like they were sitting down like we yeah. can eat at a restaurant like in two months they were already like everybody was already freaked out yeah. and then we went to the lake and people were like playing music and jumping in the water and i was and they were like we want to live here <laughs> right that'll do it that was it <laughs> that's and isn't Two months it later, crazy? I lived here. Yeah. Isn't it crazy how Doctor Evil runs New York, California, and Hawaii? Those are like his three, his three <laughs> main things that he controls. You know? <laughs> right? Isn't it, is it amazing? Crazy. The but, three best places he controls them. Well, the concern that people have here is that people are going to move here and vote the same way, and yeah. they're going to vote some totalitarian asshole well, and to just sort of impose the same sort of laws here. Well, I just think. I mean, their moving is gonna help, gonna be one thing that'll help them. But even on the other side, the fact that we don't heal the childhood trauma from the kids. I mean, in ninth grade, fifth grade, ninth grade, you know, through high school, you sh- there should be classes, communication classes, how for everybody, how for people to get along and uh, communicate. Yeah. I mean, one of the main things you see, I mean, just in the relationships that we know, I'm sure, just you know, blame, resentment, and self pity. And some some are so good they could blame you for it and tell you that's why they hate you and that's why they're in the position they're stuck in in life yeah and i, I believe we have to do something about that I, I don't know if it's a therapy thing i don't even know if they train the therapies to the therapist to even work on this stuff but you know this 
this child, you know, they're talking about the voting. Well, the, the hurt children and all these things, that's who's going to follow these people. You know, that's who, they're, that's who they reach out to. Yeah, they're, they're definitely not teaching people how to think, you know, and that, that's exactly. a real problem. And they're mm-hmm. certainly not teaching people about all the lies that have already been told. Yeah. You know, they're, they're not, the, the idea that you're supposed to trust the government, which consistently lies about almost everything. Mm-hmm. Like, and, and now we're supposed to trust the Zapruder film 12 years late? <laughs> 12 years late. I mean, right? It makes well, you wonder. Yeah. Things happen much quicker now, obviously, but it's, it all it boils down to when have they not lied? That's yeah, what I want to know. Yeah, that's what, what it is. What, what great event has not uh, been you know, somehow or another propagandized? Yeah. I mean, you'd have to think the, the elections for Pharaoh back in the day. Do you trust those? Or like you said, do you trust John Adams and Thomas Jefferson's election? When, now, you know? when you were running, when you were running for governor, like what was your experience in terms of like bumping heads with these people? I think, I think the Republican Party really went against me when I... Um, when I went into the Department of Education, because that's why I was running. I mean, I was running for the children and I was running because if you can print all the money you could possibly ever need, why the hell are you asking us for taxes? You know, type of thing. And, and, uh, you know, I I would say that's when it started, um, when I went into the education and I I told the guy, I said, hey, you gotta go, you gotta go. Because you walked into the Department of Education building, right? Yeah. And I said, you, got, you guys got to go. And I think from that time, you know, uh, whoever the powers that be behind the, re- it's like the wi- Women's League of Republicans. They run the Republican Party there. So I think it's Lingo, Duke, um, Duke Iona, Linda Lingo, Pat Psyche, and whoever else they put in the top of that thing. And, you know, people say deep state. I, I don't really use that word. People say different things. But, you know, special interest groups. But you think about it, I, I walk, I'm walking in thinking to try to help, in, help people and, you know, the, the Republicans own the businesses and the Democrats keep the money coming from Washington. So they're going to love these guys. They got their little hooey up on the top of a group, you know, that these guys bring all the money, these guys own businesses. So you're really getting shot from both sides. But I think where, where my, me and my mother talk a, a lot about different things. And I think she was just kind of bummed out because they came to her for years, the Republican Party, asking for money, asking for money, asking for money. Hey, what did you guys give us when we when we ran? You know, just just uh, just an enemy. 